made in the source engine as well. Yeah, yeah. They look it could have been. Yeah, I think it was actually. Shall we speak to the lady who is expecting us to be here? Who's expecting us to be here? Maria Kane. Maria. Maria. Play Shadow the Hedgehog. I know that line. But yes, I did actually play Shadow. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, look, he's got Nipple Lady too. He's <laughs> got the same drawing. Perhaps oh, we just Gimsky floated over his desk. For this newly arrived Victor Kane. Do you want to voice <laughs> this guy as well? The famous Dr. Dankowski, who rivals great honor for us. Daniel Dankowski, yours. I foresee that things that have become ordinary for us will probably make you feel uncomfortable and disturbed. I would like to compensate for that impression. You know, our small community has fallen out of the loop. Time leaves us behind. Don't worry. He's buzzing. Don't worry, me. <laughs> the body came to you, man. Greg. How can I help you? George G. Georgi has told me everything, which is to say he told me very little, but it was enough to astound me. He maintains that you can provide a more detailed account. So you have agreed to help us? I May I ask why? The killer's goal seems to align astonishingly well with the goals of those who've been waging war against my work for years. I'm prepared to answer any questions you may have. When was Simon born? <laughs> Simon was born... I don't know. <laughs> he sent Isidore home, then an hour later he came to the hall to see us. He announced his plans to withdraw to the second focus and received no one. He told us not to approach the focus and went to fast for a week, partaking of neither meat nor water. Then in the morning he was found dead. Damn! Didn't eat enough meat or water. How was he found? I just oh. told you he was found dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, he couldn't have been poisoned because he didn't eat anything. The servants discovered him in the morning. The room had been ransacked. Everything was brick. Everything that was breakable had been broken. His disfigured, contorted body bore signs of terrible suffering. His neck was twisted, his spine broken, I think. No one has touched the body. It is currently inside the focus and will remain there for the prescribed amount of time. Yeah, what yeah, is... prescribe this dead guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> three, three weeks on the floor. <laughs> three weeks in the focus. Do you suspect <laughs> anyone? No. All I know is that Isidore was with him that evening. No one can enter the focus against Simon's will. Well, perhaps a higher being could, but no one else. I like how they've got, like, you know, the pictures for the dialogue box, and then you can see what they actually look like. And they <laughs> Nothing alike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could the murderer have already been waiting for Simon there? No. You have no concept of what the focus is. Entering it is like entering someone else's mind, or drawing a picture, if you will. It's impossible. What is the focus? It's hard to explain. It's his study, if you will. An extraordinary, spacious, creative laboratory, almost perfectly sealed off except for the door that was visible at all times. Metaphorically speaking. Don't get it. It's like an equation or a mirror puzzle. Anyway, the murderer could not have been hiding there. Take my word for it. Well, Simon got in. He could perform far more impressive. That's why my whole town, why the whole town appears. I mean, revered him. Alrighty. So how can Perhaps I help you? He might still be alive then. Just take a look around, trust your intuition, do whatever you like, speak to whoever you feel you need to, look for the murderer, doctor, and you will find them. Keep looking to the last breath, and I'm sure your rational thinking will help you. So a sealed door is the only lead. How can I find him? I'll show you, but you must be careful. Simon's murderer, whoever they are, cannot be any ordinary person. I can't imagine them even being a person. I fear it could only be fate wearing the guise of a mysterious monster. I'll be all right. Let's go to Isidore's house. At least they put oh. like marks on the map so you can uh yeah <laughs> figure out where you are or where you've already been rather. Yeah, it's good. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, back in the day when fire was just an image layered over another image. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one doesn't uh, follow us, I don't think, at yeah, least. Yeah, at least, yeah it's, at least it's not that silly thing. <laughs> There's another so weird art page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go speak to the last person. I'm guessing the environment gets increasingly more bleak. Yeah, and it gets very green. Because There's plague is green. Yeah. I don't know That's what that plague. top left corner is. It keeps showing up. Oh, yeah. There's not like an arm saver or something, is it? No. It came she has from below the ground. Her nipples probably For are. many years, mm. we were burying classic the nipple badges. So you resemble an adventurer rather than a donkey. I am an adventurer. I saw you eating. Don't play yourself. My desires have nothing to do with it. I simply saw you take his arm by the throat. Oh, cruel words. But also honest. What's so bad about it anyway? The straw manipulate the meat when they want to. Then it is all in my hands. The caprice of our temper is even the more whimsical son. than that of no, fortune. Closely. But the time for con- the fuck. The time for conclusion, secrets and alliances have come. I'm going to ask something of you, but I'm not used to that. I'm used to holding the reins, because I have five horses at the back <laughs> But you are not harnessed, so it would be unacceptable to address you in this manner. I find solace in the fact that my request will welcome you. It fits the style of your adventure. I'm not an adventurer, even though I just said I was. <laughs> Isn't the name Adventure Venture? Yes, you'd better be polite or I'll give you a slap on the wrist. Slap the bottom. <laughs> oh. yeah, I apologize if my words came across mangled and silly. A weird way of putting it. <laughs> I truly am not used to asking. The nature of my request demands complete and selfish humility. Just imagine me begging and kneeling and bleeding. I do feel that way. Mm. Hmm. No need to kneel. What do you want to chat? Today's death was the first, but it won't be the last. Simon's opened the, sp- Simon's opened the score of irreplaceable victims. The numbers will multiply. I beg thee preserve the lives of several people when the lines of their fortune for sure. Because be- before any of them dies, there will be a moment when you'll be able to intervene. I know that for a fact. Who are these people? And that doesn't matter. <laughs> Why do you care? What <laughs> happen will happen. You can be whatever you want to be, but not coward choosing to hear no evil and run away from reality. I'll give you a list of things I know of. These people are bound to you. Are you trying to flirt with me? Bound? <laughs> bound? There is a tiny spring of power within each one of these people. Each of them can break the routine of human existence and become something greater. They are standing on the bridge of their humanity, gazing at the realm where they could could serve a different higher purpose without even knowing it. Moreover, they are bound to make the leap in one way or another. That is why we call them simply the bound. So the bound people that you get are ones that like you have to keep alive to get your ending in the story. Right. But there's like so many endings. So does that mean if any of them die, then you either get a bad, a bad ending or you die? Then none of them die. They get sick. Yeah. And you can then go heal them before the end of the game. But if you run out of time, then they, then the game ends, I think. Or like right. you get a bad ending. Yeah. Well, and how are these people supposed to die? Bound to die. No need to shy away from it. That's also fine. You didn't answer my question, Maria. Maria. <laughs> Maria. How and when will they die? I don't know. I'm not a Mr. Sagan. <laughs> Future is not clear to me as I prefer. I can feel the present. I can already distinguish a dubious guess from the pulse of my 
of the precise knowledge devoid of words and images. These people are bound to you. Your lives are connected. I wouldn't have asked you to take care of them otherwise. Are you clear by any yes, chance? You haven't been told, have you? It didn't even cross my mind that some people have, may be unaware of my abilities. <laughs> Nobody here <laughs> dares doubt them, for they are evident. Yes, the mistress of every ruling house possesses special abilities, and I'm here learning to see the future and transmit the present. Fact offers different words good this pissicky. <laughs> you my request. Will you say the lies people I name you answer me before going back to Cuba? Uh, yeah, alright. Sure. So these are the people we have to not die. Whatever happens, mm. these people must live. Their fates are bound to mine. They may well hold the keys and to the doors that are unlocked. That are locked. You must die. Gregory Cramble. Vinger Gregory Plastic. Punch. <laughs> Look at this man's face. I thought that was a lady. <laughs> I mean, it could be. <laughs> Audrey. Got, like, a, a very small chin beard thing. <laughs> oh, she put herself on the list, did she? Oh. <laughs> Mark. Immortal. Funny about that mark the mortal game. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. <laughs>